everyone, Buffy the Rate Slayer here. Welcome again to our weekly market insight series coming directly from the Capital Markets Trading Desk at SunWest Mortgage Company. Let's get into it. Well, markets have fluctuated throughout the week. Treasury yields increased after the economic data release. The CPI mix data has strengthened the expectation that there may be one more interest rate hike on the horizon from the Federal Reserve as it continues its fight against inflation. The Consumer Price Index report was released on Wednesday with mixed results. It showed that the index advanced 0.3% during the month of July. It is the first time it has accelerated in six months. The report, which excludes the cost of food and energy, increased 4.3% compared to a year ago. This is its smallest advance in almost two years. The Federal Reserve puts a lot of weight into this report to determine future actions against inflation. Mortgage applications volume reached its lowest level since 1996. The data released on Wednesday by the Mortgage Bankers Association showed that applications fell 0.8% for the holiday shortened week that ended on September 8th. Refinances were down 5% from the previous week and 31% lower compared to last year. Meanwhile, purchases were up 1% compared to the previous week and 27% lower than the same week a year ago. This marks the seventh time in the last eight weeks in which mortgage applications have decreased. The average 30-year mortgage interest rate climbed up to 7.27% during that time. Data released this week by the U.S. Census Bureau showed that the household median income fell by 2.3% between the years 2021 and 2022. Median income dipped from 76,330 in 2021 to 74,580 in 2022. This is the third straight annual decline and the most since 2010. At the same time, inflation rose 7.8% between the same time frame, marking the largest annual increase in cost of living adjustment since 1981. U.S. retail sales for the month of August came in higher than expected. Driven by high energy costs, the value of total retail purchases increased by 0.6% from July, much higher than the expected 0.1%. June and July figures were revised down. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the U.S. Producer Price Index for the final demand increased by 0.7% in August. The index rose by the most in more than a year, supported by rising energy and transportation costs. U.S. small business optimism decreased by 0.6 points to 91.3 last month month amid weaker sales and an increase in prices. Applications for U.S. unemployment benefits rose for the week ending September 9th. Initial jobless claims increased by 3,000 to 220,000. Meanwhile, continuing jobless claims for the week ending September 2nd increased by 4,000 to 1.68 million. And on Thursday, the European Central Bank raised the interest rate for the 10th consecutive time. The rate was raised by 25 basis points to reach a record 4%. The ECB indicated that the rate hike will have a strong effect in its fight against inflation. This past July, the United Kingdom's economy shrank at the fastest pace in seven months as labor strikes and wet weather hit activity harder than expected, reviving fears that a recession may be underway. Well, that's it for this week, everybody. If you like this video, please hit that like button and to be notified every time we upload a new video, please hit the notification bell to subscribe. Your support to our channel is greatly appreciated. So thank you in advance. As always, stay updated with our news and our trading desk will keep you informed with our pricing incentives. Have a great Friday and an even better weekend. Buffy out.